Yes. Now that I have made my intro, let's celebrate. What the? What is that falling from the sky? Alright Judge Brandon. The real reason we pulled you out on your jail cell is to let you know that we are very sorry for framing you in false imprisonment. You're alright Judge Barron. However, the truth is, I am not the judge who corrupted the police and allowed child abuse to Sonny and Alice. We know, and we got a video of who actually did it. And the police are going to his house to find him and put him in custody. Once captured, the Shadow Ops Police will come by the police station and have him extradited here to the Harris County Court for trials. Yes, thank you very much. I will call Officer Andrew to come by his house and arrest him for his actions. He lives in... Ha ha! I actually cannot believe it! Those stupid Shadow Ops Police officers fell for it. They actually arrested the wrong person and gave them a life sentence. They thought it was Judge Brandon, which I used viand logic to turn myself into him. I cannot believe what I can get away with. But I still cannot believe these idiots would get Sonny and Alice Scudder killed twice by Alejandro Mora. That Spanish-speaking moron. These people are supposed to be alive so they can child abuse them even more. Oh, as I see Justine and Annabelle at their fake parents' house, I'm gonna... Huh. I wonder who would be knocking on my door. Hands These behind your bed right this me. instant. Stop playing the victim card on us. Greg Bargan, or should I say, the real corrupted judge. You are now under arrest. Wait! What did I do to you people? I didn't do anything wrong. Where? Of course you did something wrong. You were the real corrupted judge who actually allowed child abuse to Justine Scudder. It took months to find out that you were the real mastermind behind the Vion City police scandal. Also, you even framed Judge Brandon by using Vion logic to turn yourself into Judge Brandon himself. You made Justine's life even more miserable because of your stupid corruption. You are supposed to be helping Justine with her problems, not allow her parents to child abuse them even more. Hey! I did the right thing to Justine because she caused horrific crimes in the past. Shut the hell up, Greg. Whatever happens in the past, stays in the past. She is not a troublemaker anymore. We also saw the video about which judge is responsible for corrupting the police and starting a scandal. And it was you who was behind this, not Judge Brandon. You are in so much hot water with everyone right now. What is my husband arrested for? Your husband framed Judge Brandon and secretly corrupted the police and allowed child abuse to Justine's former parents Sonny and Alice Scudder who were big-time child abusers. We saw evidence of him with Justine in trial and Judge Brandon was falsely accused thanks to him. Don't listen to these Justine fanboys. I did not corrupt the police by any means. It was Sonny and Alice who corrupted the police. 
And I did the right thing to Justine for being the worst criminal on earth. Shut the hell up, Greg. It doesn't matter what happened. You told the police to allow child abuse to Justine's former parents. This means you support criminal activity. I agree with these police officers, Greg. I cannot believe you got away with this horrific crime. You know what? Oh, just wait until I see you in court big time. And indeed he will, because the Shadow Ops police will arrive at the police station any minute now to pick up your husband. If you want to see his trial, you will have to book a plane ticket to Houston, Texas for court. All right, Greg. You have the rights to remain silent. If you give that up, anything you say or do will be used against you in the court of law. You have the rights to an attorney. And if you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you when you arrive at the station. All right, Greg Bargain. Let's get in the car right now. You corrupted judge. Hey! Get your handcuffs off me this instant. Justine deserves to be abused for causing horrific crimes. I said, let me go. You despicable Justine fanboys. You idiots better let me go right now. I mean it. Shut the hell up, Judge Bargain. Thank you so much for capturing the judge behind corrupting the police and allowing child abuse to Justine's former parents. You're welcome, Shadow Ops police officers. So is this man going to Houston, Texas for court? He sure is. Our judge told us to call you guys to have him arrested and to meet us here so we can extradite him there. Also... Judge Brandon is currently at Texas to be at the trial. So many people will be there, and we also have Paper Luigi 99's Boris, Karen, and Evil Yellow Horse at court for their hearing. Also, Judge Brandon was falsely imprisoned because of Greg Bargan. He made a false video that showed Judge Brandon making a false court hearing about Justine Scudder. We found the real video of what happened, and we finally found the judge who thinks he can get away with it. Good. I hope Greg Bargan gets put in prison for his ridiculous scandal. Oh, you guys want to listen to this, Officer Tony is a fraud. He is one of the officers who actually allowed child abuse to Sonny and Alice Scudder. He should be arrested for his. Shut the hell up, Greg. I don't work for you anymore. Especially when I had to force me to do what you said and allowed child abuse. Even though I am glad to see the police change, I had to put up with your corruption long enough. All right. We got to get going to Houston. All right, guys. We will see you at the court trial of Greg Bargan. All right. Greg Bargan, you will be escorted to the helicopter to Houston, Texas. The flight will take a few hours. Now, let's get going. Let me go this instant. You all, including Officer Tony Hamilton, will all pay for this. Shut your mouth, Greg Bargan. So, Officer Andrew, what was all this about Greg Bargon saying Tony Hamilton allowing child abuse to Justine and Annabelle? Ugh. I really don't know Officer Barry. Well, Paper Luigi 99's Boris, Karen McCarrenson and Evil Yellow Horse. You three are convicted for kidnapping Justine and Fatima, also Boris. You are also being charged with multiple counts of child abuse and murder on your son named, Caillou Anderson. What do you all have to say for yourselves? What do you want Fred? Can you see I'm in the middle of a trial here? Sorry to interrupt, I wanted to let you know that the Shadow Ops police officers have founded the wanted judge of Yon City. His name is, Judge Barcone. The officers are bringing him in the courtroom right now. Good. Oh my god. Yes. Please tell me that this is true. Hey! Let me go you idiots! Officer Tony is still a bad cop and Justine is a troublemaker. <gasps> ha. Look at me now Greg Bargan. Noticed anything different? Okay. This is bullshit. Why the hell is Justine an adult again? She is supposed to be a kid for God's sake. I demand you turn her back into a kid and... 
Shut the hell up Greg Bargain. There is no way she will be turned back into a kid. She is staying back at her current age, and that's that. Now, you better keep your mouth shut at all times Mr. Greg Bargain. You are now being convicted for the following charges, and that includes, corrupting the police, allow child abuse to Justine's former parents. And worse of all? Framing Judge Brandon and tricked us real good. Shame on you for your stupid cover-up crime scheme. What do you have to say to yourself? Well, Justine is the worst person in the city. She got away with so many horrible crimes in the city, not to mention when she killed her parents at a local hotel, blow up Carvel ice cream with a bomb, and causing trouble at her school. She does not deserve to be treated with respect anymore, and she deserves to remain a kid, get abused almost every day, and be forced to live with her red, evil, and abusive parents. Maybe if she didn't cause those horrific crimes in the first place, we would have treated her like a famous person. Oh wow. You really think, letting her parents abuse her would teach her a lesson, huh? I don't give a crap about what she did in the past, whatever happens in the past, stays in the past. The reason why this happened was because of her abusive parents turning her into a kid after being demoted from her job which made her behave this way. You are a judge, you should realize, that Justine is being child abused and tortured by her parents, and you did, nothing about it. You should be helping her with her problems, not helping her parents child abuse them more, and according to the evidence that was handed to you by your attorney, your corruption also includes four separate punishment days with four other police officers who are being put in federal prison because of you. You also sent Justine to a juvenile detention and locked her in a prison cell. That is child neglect. You are nothing but a disgrace to this community. Excuse me. I did nothing wrong. Justine deserves to be child abused for a crime she's caused in the past. Oh, I swear to God, I'm going to. Are you freaking kidding me, Greg? So, you allowed child abuse to Sonny and Ali Scudder? Did you really think that allowing them to child abuse them and corrupting the police would teach Justin a lesson? Oh, just wait until you're found guilty. That's right, Greg. I agree with your wife. I cannot believe you would corrupt the police and allow Sonny and Alice Scudder to child abuse them even more. Also, Greg Bargain, guess what happened to my former abusive parents? Wait! What did you do to them? Please don't tell me that! That's right. They were arrested and executed three weeks after you send a police officer with Sonny and Alice Scudder so they can barge into Ted's house and kidnap their daughters. Their execution with Alejandro Mora was also revenge from Justine and Annabelle Scudder for turning her into a kid and abusing their daughters 24-7. What? You let Alejandro Mora kill Justine's real parents, Sonny and Alice Scudder? Are you kidding me right now? They did nothing wrong. They have all rights to punish and child abuse their daughters almost daily. Shut the hell up, Greg. They deserve to be executed for causing a huge child abuse cover-up and got away with it. All right, we now move on to the kidnappers, Paper Luigi 99's Boris, Karen McCarrenson, and Evil Yellow Horse. You three are being convicted for the following charges, and that includes helping Sonny and Alice Scudder with attempting to kidnap their former daughters. What do you have to say to yourselves? Justine deserves to be child abused by her former parents Sonny and Alice Scudder. They do not deserve to live with Ted and Camilla. Those are not their daughters. Yeah, I agree with Evil Yellow Horse. We could have gotten away with it if it weren't for those stupid police officers and that person who shot the tire of my van. They could have killed us. Luckily, we are able to survive that. Yay. And her fake dad won't let me bring her daughter to the van so we can easily kidnap her. Instead, we got the wrong people and it's what got the attention of the stupid police. Well, be lucky that you are all alive. Also Boris. I cannot believe you helped Sonny and Alice escape hell. You should realize that these people are child abusers. And they must stay banished from Beyond City due to their actions. I also heard that you also child abused, killed and gave punishment days to your son named, Caillou Anderson. You should realize that killing and abusing your son is not okay to do. Excuse me sir. Whatever I do to my son is none of your business. You will all suffer under the wrath of my... Shut the hell up Boris. I heard what you did to your son. And you should be ashamed of yourself for trying to kidnap Justine and Annabelle. As for Karen, you have also been charged for disturbing the peace, false arrest on innocent bystanders, and for attempted kidnapping. What do you have to say to yourself? I don't give a 